This tutorial explains mounting the semi-dry EEG cap with Smarting Mobi. We will demonstrate two approaches to mounting the cap and lowering the impedance values. Make a saline solution. Fully dissolve a 1.5 teaspoons that comes with a package of sodium chloride in 200 milliliters of water in the solution bottle. Soak the hydro links with saline solution. It takes at least two hours to soak the sponges to prepare them for proper use. Make sure the sponges are completely wetted before the application. We will first show a faster approach where the sponges are placed in the cap before mounted on the subject. Insert the sponge holder into the electrode base. Screw the sponge holder clockwise. A click sound indicates that the holder has been properly placed in the electrode base. Take the sponge from the wetting container and gently squeeze out any extra saline solution. Place the sponge in the holder. Mount the electrode cap on the subject's head and gently tighten the strap around the chin. To adjust the impedance values, you can apply slight pressure, move or shake the electrode base with hands to ensure that the sponge is in good contact with the scalp. If the impedance value is high on some of the electrodes, you can remove the sponge, re-wet it, and place it back to the electrode holder. Additionally, you can use the cotton swab, previously wetted in the saline, to split the hair so the electrode sponge can have better contact with the scalp. Repeat the process until the desired impedance values are reached on all electrode sites. In this approach, the empty cap is first placed on the subject's head and then the sponges are mounted. First, mount the electrode cap on the subject's head and gently tighten the strap around the chin. Immerse a cotton swab in the saline solution. Split the hair on the electrode location sites and wet the scalp. First, place the sponges in the reference CMS and ground DRL electrodes. Place the sponge into the sponge holder and then insert the sponge into the electrode base. Lift the electrode base with one hand and insert the sponge head into the electrode base with the other hand. If the impedance value is high on some of the electrodes, you can remove the sponge, re-wet it, and place it back to the electrode holder. Repeat the process until the desired impedance values on all electrode sites are reached. When finished with the experiment, gently remove the cap.